You're watching the D.O. Boxing Show. Welcome to the D.O. Boxing Show. I'm your host, Damon Akposio, and I'm here with... Sonny Thin from King of the Ring. And uh, he's back from the 2019 Nationals. And uh, where did the Nationals... Where, where were the Nationals held? The Nationals took place in Victoria, which is in British Columbia. Uh, Victoria, British Columbia. And so we're going to find out from Sonny what his experience was like going to the Nationals this year. So leading up to the Nationals, you yeah. had to win um, the Provincials first. Yeah. So you won the Provincials, and which means that you were the best in your weight category in Ontario. Um, and what weight category is that that you fight at? I was fighting at 91 kgs. Okay, and uh, 91 kilograms for everybody that um, is not uh, familiar with, um, you know, kilograms and weight classes. It's the heavyweight category in the amateurs. Um, so what weight, where, where's the weight um, category? Like, where, do you know where the bottom and, and the top it is? It starts at 178 pounds mm -hmm. to 200. Okay. It's a big weight class. And so, what was your preparation after you won the Ontarios, getting ready for the Nationals? My preparation, we were doing a, a lot of sparring, mm -hmm. main thing. Coach likes to focus on the sparring, because practical, that's what we'll be doing when we're fighting. We were doing sparring, training, bag work, shadow boxing. We're doing a lot of road running uh, this year, getting our legs ready. Uh, we're on the weights too, so we're moving up in weight, so trying to get stronger. Did you have an official camp for the Nationals, or did you just train like you normally train for it? No, we had a, we had a training camp for the Nationals. We set days, which days coach was training with us, he was working with us, and then I had separate days where I was doing my weightlifting. So when you went to the Nationals now, which is a progression after the Ontarios, um, what is that like? Like, um, how was your trip down to BC? It was a good trip. We had to we had to fly down there. It took about four hours, and then from BC we landed in Abbsford, and then from there we had to take a ferry to get onto the island where the where the fights were happening. And what was that whole experience like? It was a great experience. Uh, I don't mind traveling. I didn't like sitting in the plane. My legs started hurting, <laughs> being stuck in the middle. But it was a great experience. And how long before you fight did you get there? I got there two days before I fought, so okay. I had some time to rest. And so, um, how many fights did you have? Like, what was the draw like? I had, I think, seven guys in my weight class, and I had three fights in the tournament. Okay. Yeah. And so, that means that you were fighting every other day? Yep. I fought one day, got a break, and I fought two days back-to-back. -back. Oh, two days back-to-back. -back. Yeah. Okay, so bring us through um, those earlier fights before we get to the main event, which is just playing behind us here. Yeah. So, tell us about those first two fights how were my, they my first fight I fought a taller guy than I normally fight I would say he was he was a guy from Quebec he was an alright guy he was trying to he was trying to box with me he was trying to fight me from the outside which I, I said was his mistake he should have been trying to rush to little more it was a good fight I kept my distance I kept my range I kept my feet moving and the second fight was a little stockier guy he was trying to guard up and come in and I just kept my range kept it moving and Kept my jab on their face the whole night. So after that fight, um, you were on to the finals. Yeah. Was there anything going through your mind before the finals? Honestly, I was thinking about coach, and I just wanted to come home and get the medal for him. I just wanted to come home with the gold and let him know that I won the gold. So bring us through a little bit of the fight. How was it there? Um, the guy looks like he was very strong. Yeah. Um, what was the experience like being in there for the finals? It was a good experience. It's my first year fighting without headgear. I, I also enjoyed that. It was a good experience. Again, I was just trying to keep my range with them. I would box them from the outside. I didn't want to get into a, a like, I would say, fist fight with them. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to keep my range, keep boxing, keep my legs going, and, and I just followed the game plan. Nice. And so this is now your... How many nationals have you been this to? This is my third. Third nationals, yeah. but first time gold medalist in the heavyweight division. Yeah, and I'm first year as a senior also. Oh, first year as a senior. Yeah. So, uh, how old are you? I'm 18. 18 years old, um, Canadian heavyweight champion. And what is now, like what's now in the future for you? 
the future we have a couple club shows fights coming up uh, we'll meet with the national team see what the see what the plans are I have in two weeks from now, I have a training camp with the national team. And where is that going to be? That will be in Quebec. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we'll be go down there, get a, get a chance to talk with the national team, and then from there, me and Coach sit down and plan out our next moves. So what's the long-term vision? Are you looking now for that trek to the Olympics? Yeah. Yep, that's the goal, 2020. 2020? Yeah. Well, it's right around the corner. Um, you're off to a good start. Yeah, yeah. And um, does anything change for you right now? Like, is your training going to change or are you just going to continue on the regimen that you've been doing? We're going to continue to working hard, uh, a little bit more strength working, just continue what we've been doing, but pushing it to the next level now. And um, before we finish off, just for people that might be curious, is there any special diets that you do or... No, I've been, I eat all right. I just, I try not to eat too much junk food and mm -hmm. keep a little bit healthy. But besides that, I, I can eat anything. And how often are you in the boxing gym? I'm there every day. So seven days a week you train? Yeah. Some Friday we might take a rest day or Friday or maybe just end it off with a run. Very nice. Um, so you heard it here. Um, remember, you can actually find um, Sunny on Facebook. We've talked about that before in uh, previous episodes. Can you tell them actually again where they can find you? Yeah, you can find me on Facebook uh, at Sunny Ten, also on Instagram, underscore Sunny. So if you want to follow his journey, um, check him out on social media. And remember, if you have any questions related to boxing, you can always ask me and contact me through Twitter at D-O-K-P-O-S-I-O, -O, through email, akposio at hotmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe to get every episode of the D.O. Boxing Show. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode, and we'll catch you on the next one.